Hello everybody. Now we will see how to build custom graphs using JMeter. So what are custom graphs? Many a times we have requirements, uh, the client demands that we want to see responses over time, active threads over time. So what to do in that case? These are really specific requirements for the client and we need to provide those so that the client can uh, take a go no go decision as far as the application deployment to production is concerned. So in order to use custom graphs, I am going to show you a few custom graphs today and for those we need to extract few plugin jars from JMeter plugin org. Right now JMeter provides the plugin manager because of which these jars are now considered old style releases. So if you go to this JMeter plugins org downloads old you will find the jmeter plugin standard 1.4.0 zip take this file the first file take the second file extras take the third file extra libs and then there is one file called cmd runner if it is not over here then we will have to do a google again Okay, it's not here. So what you can do is you can go to google.com and check over here. You will get this one. So just go over here. You can take any of those files. Everything is, uh, all the sites are valid files for CMD runner. So just go here and you can take, you can download this and I have already downloaded it and once you download these four files that is the jmeter plugin standard.jar, cmd runner.jar, jmeter plugin extras.jar, jmeter plugins extra libs.jar you place you extract this because these will come as a zip file and you extract these individual jars the four jars to the lib extra folder lib ext folder in jmeter under jmeter I have already done that and I will show you my ext lib folder. See here, JMeter plugin extras, JMeter plugin extra libs, and you have standard JMeter plugin standard, and you also have the CMD runner too. So all the files have been put into their proper location lib ext folder of Apache JMeter 3, and now we are ready to start to build our test plan. These are the prerequisites for custom graphs. I will clear the results. I have created this sample test plan. You can record this using bad boy and you will get these automatically. HTTP authorization manager. You don't need to do any changes in this one unless and until I indicate. HTTP cookie manager, HTTP cache manager, HTTP request defaults. Here I have provided an app URL. I have taken that from the test plan and app URL indicates that I am uh, going to work with livecharger.org. There are few other variables over here like users. Users are 3, the ramp up period is 120 and the duration is 240. In order to use duration in the thread group, you need to select scheduler so that you can put the duration variable over here and the way you put variables I have explained in. Uh, earlier sessions dollar curly braces variable name and then curly brace complete i have put three http samplers over here the home page that is livecharger.org this is taking data from the http request defaults the about page where the path indicates that it is going to the about page and the archives page where the path indicates that it is going to the archives page i have uh, put uh, the way you add listeners, custom listeners is 
you uh, right click on thread group and add listeners once you do the exercise that i mentioned at the very beginning of this session uh, you will get all the listeners listed over here select whichever you want and then you can add it to uh, your test plan so i have added active threads over time response times over time transaction per second hits per second response time percentiles and composite graph and this was my earlier listener which i have disabled now okay so all the listeners are empty now let's run our test and let's view the results the test has started let's see how we get the results okay the, don't go with the color of this uh, thread group it even if it, it is red that's a color that jmeter selects so it is not a failure and if you notice below a line has been plotted over here if you go to response time over time there also few spots are there that indicate that the test is running and you have the response time in milliseconds let's go to the transaction per second where it has started plotting the graphs and it has done that for the home page then you go to hits per second you see that the number of hits per second are wavering between 2 1 to 5 so it gives an indication of how many hits are going to the server per second response time percentiles is another graphs where you can see the response time percentile uh, calculations that are being done and you can uh, gauge this you can just uh, copy these graphs and print a beautiful report for the senior management composite graph is an interesting thing you can customize your graph and see the behavior of various graphs that are mentioned over here and you can combine the graphs here i have combined graphs for home page about page and archive page and you can see how they appear you can distinguish between the graphs so this is how you use uh, custom graphs in your test that's all about the custom graphs if you have any questions about downloading or any explanations needed you can uh, you can ping me or you can contact me you can post a comment and do subscribe if you like my channel and uh, happy reading happy learning thank you